You'll need a copy of the second most recent Echo version. You can download it at the first link in the description or alternatively get a copy through Oculus Downgrader, which I'll link a guide to. Download the zip file and then click the second link in the description, which takes you to the offline Echo mod. Download both the EXE and DLL files. You'll need to press keep and allow your browser to download the DLL. I've run the DLL through VirusTotal, which comes back clean, but you should always download at your own risk. Once the zip file is done downloading, open it and extract this file anywhere on your computer. Now that it's done extracting, I'm going to temporarily move the exe and dll file I downloaded onto my desktop. Open the folder you extracted earlier and navigate to bin, then win10. Drag the exe and dll into this folder. If it asks, select replace files in the destination. Now go back to the oculus app, then settings, then general, and make sure unknown sources is turned on. It should be blue just like this. Go back to the folder with offline echo and launch it. If this pops up, select more info and then run anyways. The game may launch but it won't put you into any level and that is completely intended. We now need to specify launch options which tell the application what we want to load. Close the game and go back to your oculus app. Select the three dots on the new Offline Echo app and click Edit. I'll leave these launch options for you in the description to copy and paste, or you can go back to the second link and learn more about what launch options are available. You can now launch the game through the Oculus app and play. Have fun and don't forget what this goofball took from us.